All right, Jen, so for today's video, you're going to want to take notes. You're going to want to save this video because I'm going to go into tons of detail. I'm going to give you everything you need to know to buy the perfect suit online. Rule number one to buying a custom suit online, make sure that buying a custom suit online is the right choice for you. What I mean by this is you have options. First up, off the rack suits. This is the most common style of suit we see in box stores and specialty menswear stores. These are pre-made suits in a variety of different sizes, a variety of different cuts. And if you look, if you have time, you can actually find something that fits you reasonably well, can sometimes get adjusted to fit you incredibly well. But understand, if you need a suit today, this is probably the best option for you. So why go custom? Because you care about fit, you care about the style, and you care about fabric. So the fit, guess what? If it's custom, it's only made to fit one person, you. If you're tall, if you're short, if you're big, if you're small, if you're a combination of those, guess what? Custom suits don't care. They're going to be built exactly to fit your measurements and your measurements alone. Or if you're really particular, you have seen this fabric and you want that particular sports jacket, you want that suit in that fabric, guess what? Custom is the way to go because you're just simply going to be able to choose the fabric, then get the exact style. Again, you're particular. You want peak lapels. You want hacking pockets. You want, you know, an inside really unique lining. You can get get it when you go custom. The second thing to know about custom suits is it is a process. You can't get that suit same day. In fact, this can be a multi-week process. They're making this thing from scratch and understand that sometimes there are multiple fittings. You're going to have to get measurements. This is something, especially the first time you do it, that it's going to take a bit of extra time. But if you care about getting the exact style you want, the exact fabric, the fit spot on, then the process is definitely worth it. Now let's talk about measurements. When you're going in to get a custom suit, guys, you can expect sometimes over 50 measurements to be taken of your body. Yeah, this is huge because most of us when we're buying jeans, two measurements, the inseam and the waist, or we're looking at a shirt, small, medium, large. But here's the thing, when you're getting something custom, they are going to measure all parts of your body from your neck to your chest, to your torso. They're going to take your height. They're going to take your weight, but they're also going to look at the way that you stand. How do you basically do your arms hang? All of these details are going to go into taking a two-dimensional fabric and then weaving it and building it into a work of art. So the key point here is make sure whoever you're working with to get this custom suit done, that they're taking all the right measurements and that they're taking them correctly. A lot of places, they'll let you take your own measurements. If you're going to do this, make sure that you measure twice uh, so they only have to cut once because one of the worst things you can do is send in the wrong measurements. I prefer if you can actually have someone measure you and even better if they've got a block system. So a block system is actually where they've got pre-made garments. After they take your measurements, they have you try these garments on. Now, what these garments are telling them is actually, okay, this is how it would fit on him. We already know his measurements, but what does he think about the fit of these trousers? Let's say in the uh, thigh area, because fit is very subjective. One man likes a closer fit. Another man likes a very loose fit. And another thing that a lot of people don't think about when you go in to get measured or you measure yourself, make sure that you are wearing your best fitted clothing. Now, guys, if you're a fan of Real Men Real Style, you probably know that I started off as a custom clothier. I've designed over a thousand suits. I used to own an online clothing business. So I understand this business through and through. And that's why I'm excited to bring you today's sponsor, Indochino. I've talked about these guys before, but did you know when I started my first business, they were a competitor. And I always looked at them. I was very impressed always by their website, the way that they were serving their customers. And these guys have continued to exceed my expectations. Everything I'm wearing in this video is made by Indochino. These guys nailed it. I was lucky enough to be able to go into one of their Atlanta showrooms where I was able to look at all the different fabrics they had there. I was able to look at all the different options and I got measured right there and designed a beautiful suit. The suit you see me wearing right now, they took my measurements accurately and they use that block system. And I can tell you that makes a huge difference. I was basically to get one of the best fitting suits I've ever owned. And I've owned lots of suits costing thousands and thousands of dollars. Guess what? Indochino starts at three 99. Gentlemen, this is a steal. First up, I would highly recommend that you go into one of their shops and get measured. But if you can't, guess what? You can enter your own measurements and they will work with you to make sure you get the perfect fit. I will get into options later in this video in detail, but I will tell you, I did some special things with this suit, had a lot of fun. You want to see it? I'm going to reveal it right now. Check this out. 
for my Canadian friends and anyone that knows the history of Indochino, it started out, it was a Canadian company. I love a company that is just full of go-getters. And I met with the Atlanta team, such a great group of people. And I sort of said it, but I want to be a little bit more clear. They're a lot more than just suits. So you want to get a custom shirt, they've got you covered. Tons of great fabrics at an amazing price. You want a custom vest. And I can tell you the vest is one of the hardest garments to get to fit your body correctly. Absolutely love this vest and the fit is spot on. So if you're hard to fit, you want a unique fabric that's going to help you stand up from the crowd. If you want to go with a unique design so that you can design a suit that's going to be unlike any the world has ever seen, guys, you want to go over to Indochino. To get started, gents, and to save $30 on your suit, use the link down in the description of today's video along with the code RMRS to save money on your first suit at Indochino. Now, this next step to getting the perfect suit online is often overlooked but incredibly important and that is make sure the people or the team or the person you're dealing with has good communication skills because guess what? You have this vision of what you want this custom suit to look like, how you want it to fit and if they don't ask you the right questions, they're going to build you a monstrosity. They're going to go, they're going to think, oh, this guy wants the modern slim fit. You thought you were going to get something a little bit looser but you know, that would fit your big build, all of a sudden you get the suit and you're like, oh my gosh, what happened here? Communication is key. So make sure that they've got a great communication skills, that they speak your language. That's what we're looking to do is reduce mistakes. Next up, know what you want. So many guys go in to buy custom and they do not know what they want. And if you run into a salesman or you work with someone that really has your best interests in mind and can direct you, that's great. But that doesn't happen all the time. And you want to make sure you're not led astray. Not, you know, on purpose, but that person doesn't, he can't read your mind. So you want to make sure you've got laid out exactly what you need. If you just graduated law school and you're taking that first job over in downtown Chicago, you're going to be at that top law firm. If you're going to be wearing a suit daily, find out what they wear to the law office. But by knowing that, you'll be able to build the wardrobe you need. But maybe you need sports jackets. Maybe you need odd trousers. And it's going to make everyone's job easier when you can give more specific information about what you need. Now, that being said, this next point incredibly important and that is have one garment made at a time. And I'm talking one suit made, one shirt made, one vest made. Why don't you want to have like five suits or ten shirts made? Because what if, if this is the first time they're making it, you want to make sure they nail the fit. You think that, hey, I wanted to be able to put two fingers right in here. And the guy who was measuring you thought that you didn't want to be able to put anything, but you don't want to actually get ten shirts that are made that way because that guy may argue. He may say, hey, no, no, this is what you asked for. And then all of a sudden you've got an issue. Ask for one shirt. Ask for one jacket. Ask for one set of trousers and you should be able to go through more multiple fittings to be able to get exactly what you want on the fit. And that takes us right to our next point, fittings. So fittings are natural, especially when you're just starting off. Your first garment, you can expect to have one to two fittings as they work to get it perfect. The shirt, yeah, it may be a little bit too loose, a little bit too tight in and around the neck. Maybe you want the sleeves a little bit longer. This is when they're going to take note of this. They're going to say, hey, I'd like a little bit slimmer on the sleeve and they will be able to take it in and make those adjustments. The key point here is that they not only make the adjustments, but they also adjust your pattern. You want to ask about this because when they adjust your pattern, then this is something they'll be able to replicate the garment. You don't want them to replicate a mistake. You want to make sure that if you have those adjustments made, they adjust the pattern and then all your future suits, all your future sports jackets, guess what? They're going to fit perfectly because you did the work up front. So now let's get into the details. Yeah, we're going to go deep down the rabbit hole. First up, talking about suit fabric choice. So there are four things when you're looking at fabric that you want to pay attention to. So first up, the color. If this is your first custom suit, highly recommend you go with a simple solid. Navy, charcoal gray, medium gray, something that you're going to wear again and again. You may say, Antonio, I've already got a couple suits like that in my wardrobe, but do you have a custom suit like that in your wardrobe? The answer is probably no and this is why you want to start off. It's all about the fit and we can change things up on the style, but initially your first custom suit, go simple. Now, if this isn't your first custom suit, you've already made a few custom suits, then feel free based off your knowledge and what you know about menswear to start having a little bit more fun. Now let's talk about patterns. So patterns, again, this is something initially no pattern, but you could, if you really wanted to bring in a pattern to start off with, maybe look at a herringbone. A herringbone weave in a solid fabric actually is not very noticeable until you get up close. It adds a bit of depth, gives a little bit of, little bit of weight to the fabric, so it is going to be a thicker, heavier fabric, but I think it looks absolutely beautiful. You can also look at bringing in, and we see window panes, we see checks, we also see pinstripes. 
These, when you start to bring these in, understand these are not your interchangeable pieces. These are going to be much more memorable. These are going to be suits that stand out. But if you already, if you already got five suits, you've got six suits. Why not bring in a pinstripe? Pinstripes all about business. Window panes checks, these understand are going to be much more casual. Now, what about small repeating patterns like bird's eye, shark tooth, nails head? I think that those are perfectly fine, but they are going to be a bit more casual. However, if you already have like three or four suits in your wardrobe, I really like bringing in something like this. It adds a bit of texture. At the same time, from a distance, it actually looks solid and people won't see the pattern till they get up close. Now, something like a uh, chalk stripe, this is maybe if you've already got nine suits, I maybe would make it a tenth, but this is something that really a big pattern like that really is a distinctive pattern. It can really stand out if you know what you're doing, but it's not going to be a suit that you can wear more than once or twice a month. Next up, let's talk about materials and 99% of you want to go with wool. 100% wool is where it's at. You're going to see the word worsted wool. All this simply means is that the wool has been woven into a tight thread and it is perfect for suiting. Beautiful drape, even cheap worsted wools have really come a long way. Now, what you don't want to go with is a blend and a blend is where they put in a little bit of polyester, sometimes 50-50 with wool. Basically, because they're using this material, it is next to nothing in cost and it also just never looks as good. Now, what about silk? What about cotton? What about linen? I think that when blended with wool, you can get some amazing options, but don't do this with a fur suit because if you get your first suit, it's got 50% linen or, you know, it, it could just, it's going to require more upkeep. It also can wrinkle more. I do think during the summer, these are interesting options, but for most guys just starting off, go with worsted wool. And now let's talk about fabric cost. And this is important because custom suits, the price, the final price is often based off of what was the cost of the material. So your fabric, it takes about three and a half yards for an average custom suit. This right here can range anywhere from a few dollars per yard to over a thousand dollars per yard, depending on the fabric, depending on what mill it comes from, what is in it. So if it's wool versus polyester versus a silk blend versus a very rare wool, they've had actually fabrics woven with a little bit of gold in them. Yes. And those can cost a lot of money. So understand that when a tailor's doing this for him, it's about the same amount of work that goes into it. It's really about the raw materials and how much those cost. So if you want to go with something really rare, if you want to go with something really high end, something that they don't, they don't make that much of, that is going to drive the cost up substantially. However, if you go with a material that they have plenty of, that's a staple, that's classic, you're going to find that the cost is going to be driven down. And let's talk about the super numbers. So you see super 80, super 120, super 220. Understand that none of this is regulated. So one company's super 120 could be another company's super 220, but they do understand, at least the people in sales, that a lot of people view these like megapixels in cameras. So whenever you see a camera with a lot of megapixel, people want to go buy that because it's the newest and greatest. Guys, don't fall for it. Any super like 100, any super 120 is going to be just beautiful, perfectly fine. I would expect in general super 220s at that range right there to be really nice. And in general, you will see the cost go up as the super number does. Now let's talk about design. And my advice to you is kiss. Keep it simple, silly. Seriously, I've got two dozen suits right here and I will tell you the ones I wear the least are the ones that I got way over complicated on the design. Don't do an eclectic here, eclectic there, changing this up to be different. All of a sudden, you've got something which is a monstrosity. So, when you're looking at the lapels, yeah, I went with peak right here. I had a little bit of fun, but this is pretty much one of two things I had fun on this jacket. But most people, notch lapels are going to be perfectly fine. Peak lapels are going to be a little bit more formal. If you want to go with shawl lapels, that is very rare and you see it more on black tie. But in general, notch lapels are going to be fine. How many buttons in the front? Two in general. 95% of jackets out there are two button. Oh, you can go with a double breasted. Guys, if this is your first custom suit, don't go with a double breasted suit because you don't own any double breasted suits and you don't normally wear them. Don't buy something that, again, is going to be really pushing you. But there are many things you can change up, by the way, which nobody will see. I talked about my inner lining on my jacket. This is where you can have a lot of fun. Or it could be something small, like the back of the jacket. A lot of people, whenever they buy something off the rack, they got to go with the single vent. I highly recommend you go with the double vent. doesn't seem like much, but this makes a huge difference in the way the jacket fits and the way it flows whenever you're walking. You can also maybe look at the buttons right here. Make sure you go with working buttons. You may want to go with the contrast stitching. Right here, I went for a little bit of maroon right there. Contrast stitching is another great little thing you can do. Change up the buttons. Maybe change up a few things here or there, but guys, overall, keep it simple. And the same thing with the trousers, guys. Keep it simple. So, if you don't normally have pleats on your trousers, don't buy pleats now. If you don't normally 
cuff your trousers, go with straight at the bottom hem. One thing I highly recommend is go with suspender buttons on the inside. Nobody's going to see it. You may never even use them, but you always have them there as an option if you want to buy suspenders. Now, if you have the option, I always recommend that you buy an extra set of trousers. Most times when a suit is damaged, it is the trousers. But if you've got two pairs of trousers, you've got that suit and this is your go-to suit, guess what? You've got something that's going to last a lot longer. Just make sure when you send them out to the cleaners that you send them out as a set. And if you get two sets of trousers, consider getting one of them with side tabs. So, get rid of the belt loops. Instead, it's simply going to cinch up on the sides. I absolutely love this look. Very unique, but something I wouldn't recommend if you only have one pair of trousers because if you gain or lose weight, it can be an issue. Now, what about vests? I absolutely love it and I recommend that if you want to add some pizzazz to your look, go with a contrasting vest or maybe go with a matching vest. Go for the three-piece suit look if you wear the suit again and again. But I said it this earlier and I want to say it again. The vest is one of the hardest garments to get fit. So, make sure that if you're buying this custom that you get this adjusted if it does not fit correctly because the vest is one of those things. There's not really much room to give or to loosen up and you want to make sure that you get exactly what you're looking for. Most vests when you go and you buy them off the rack, even if you find the right fit, you're stuck with the style that they give you. When you go custom, you can get styles that you can only dream of and this is where I do like to have a little bit of fun. You notice right here, four buttons uh, on each side went double-breasted. Double-breasted vests very rare and I knew that they're also incredibly hard to get fitted properly. So, when I had the chance to get one custom from Indochino, you bet I jumped on it and I absolutely love it. Now, I went with a contrasting fabric that I felt worked really well with the brown because it's got a little bit of brown in it and there's another trick when you're looking at maybe matching things. See if you can actually find a fabric that has a little bit, this one, a little bit of that repeating brown. So, because it has the brown, I knew it would naturally match with the brown suit. Now, what about custom shirts? Well, if they can make suits, if they can make vests, you bet they can make custom shirts. And so, for me, it's an easy choice when they've got your measurements. That's what I like about choosing one manufacturer, one company to go with. Keep it simple, silly with the design, but have a little bit of fun. I do like to simply go with a classic color. As you guys know, I love white and blue shirts. It's just my, I mean, come on, it just works with everything I have, but there are so many options you can have when it comes to the style of the collar. And that's where you can have so much fun. You can keep the color simple, but you can change up the style and if you get that fit right, that shirt is going to look amazing on you. All right, so it's been a couple weeks. You get the suit, you get the shirt, you get the vest, you get the trousers. Now, let's talk fittings. So, this is a very natural part of the process, especially the first time you buy from anyone that's making something custom. You are going to want to have some adjustments made. Now, I can tell you what, what Indochino sent me is spot on. I'm not going to have anything adjusted. Maybe, you know, that shirt uh, right here, I will adjust the button. That is it. That's why I love the whole block system. But most of the time, if you're using someone that doesn't use a block system, you're going to have to get some fittings done. But understand, adjustments are just part of the process. And so, when you're going through these fittings, it's best if you can go in and actually get them to look at it and make the adjustments so that they can update your profile, your pattern. You want them to make you that one shirt, that one pair of trousers, that one jacket, that one vest and then based off of the adjustments you make, they will then make the rest of your order. Because if you ordered 10 shirts, if you ordered 5 suits, you don't want to get 5 that are the wrong size or too tight in the chest. Some places they'll have you actually go, if you buy it online, they'll have you go to a local tailor. So, you want to call around, make sure that that person can adjust the suit. If it's too much, if it's a major adjustment, you're probably going to have to ship it back to them along with photos and along with what needs to be done. But that is why communication is so key and I feel it's underrated because when it comes to the adjustments, this is when the magic happens you go from really good to friggin' amazing. So, at this point, you've now got a perfectly fitted suit. You've got a great looking shirt. You've got a good looking vest. You have an outfit which makes you feel like a million bucks. What to do now? Wear it. Gentlemen, the most expensive clothing you'll ever own is the clothing you never wear. Wear it so many times that eventually you have to go get more. I know when I dress sharp, even if I'm at home, if I've got a big call, if I've got a big meeting, I dress better. Why do I do this? Because it puts me in the zone. It makes me feel better and studies have shown that actually dressing the part, you feel better. You perform better. The scientific term is called enclothed cognition and this is when your clothing has an effect on how you see yourself and how you perform. It's real, gentlemen. So, suit up, dress sharp and become the man you know yourself to be. So, what video to watch next? How about custom versus off the rack suits? In this video, I break out the advantages and disadvantages of each type of suit.